Hello everyone, this is Jeremiah Hunt with another tutorial for the Tutorial Brothers, and today I will be going over a quick, hopefully a quick tutorial on green screening, at, or a couple ways you could green screen in Photoshop. Here I have Photoshop CS6 open up. Uh, this, I assume this will work in CS5.5 and up, although you may be able to get away with a couple of these in CS5. I'm mainly going to be working on with the um, uh, well, let's just dive right in. I'll get started. Along the way, I'll also teach you guys a couple uh, of tricks that I use, shortcuts. All right, so we're going to go File, Open. I'm going to go ahead and pop into my folder here. Grab this. It's a random picture of two random dudes. First, I'm going to hit V to select my Move tool here, and I accidentally tried to do that. Don't, don't do what I did. All right. Before I do anything, I like to change this to a background, so I'm going to, I'm going to double click where it says background and then just click OK. And also I do Control Shift N, which equals new layer, enter, and I have a new layer. I'm going to drag that down below. I'm also going to click this, uh, click click the original layer, hit Control J, and then turn that layer off, and then drag that down to the bottom. It's always good to keep your original photo uh, as just an, an unseen layer just in case you accidentally do something to the original, uh, to, to, to uh, one of the layers. I'm going to go ahead and rename this by double clicking the text itself. Uh, random dudes works for me. Alright, so as you can see, we have two guys standing in front of a green screen. In this shot, they were standing a little bit too close, so you are going to see a little bit of bleed. Uh, typical, typical distance is about six feet from the green screen, but uh, mistakes were made. That that's that. So, without much, without without any more, uh, I'll just get right into it. I'm sorry. Okay, first, excuse me. I'm gonna come over here and cl actually, I'm going to come up here, over here, over here. Image mode or uh, image image adjustments. I'm going to set the contrast and brightness down just a bit because these guys are a little bit washed out and it makes for an easier editing. Alright, now I'm going to come over here and grab selective color. Now this, what we're going to do is we're going to select the green, but we're not going to do it here. This does work essentially sometimes, but not all the time. And oh, one thing to notice, you get a new layer here. Just keep that in mind. Alright, I'm going to come up here to this top thing right underneath these properties and hit masks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a mask that cuts out all of this green, basically. Alright, now Photoshop has been getting better and better with this, but recently they've, they've had a ba basic breakthrough. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click color range, drag this over here, and we've become red aliens from the planet red. That was supposed to be funny. Okay, I'm going to click on the green here, and as you can see, the green turns green and we kind of stay red. Um, I tend to do this because it's easier. I'm going to make sure quick, quick mask is selected down here and I'm going to invert it so I know what exactly I'm selecting. Now over here you have a fuzziness. This will tell you, this will show you how much um, is going on back here, how much you actually are moving. So I'm just going to drag this up till most of the green is gone and it doesn't actually start bleeding through onto these two guys. If you look closely, you can kind of see, if I get farther and farther up, we kind of turn red. That will, in the end, that will turn into a transparency. So if you wanted to make someone more transparent, turn it all the way up. But I'm going to stick to about 1, uh, 130. Seems like a good number. <laughs> 1 does nothing. 130 is a great number. Okay. There we go. That looks great. I'm going to click OK on that. Now. As you can see, we have a new layer here. I'm going to turn uh, this off, or sorry, I'm going to hit hold Alt and click on this. You can see now what all was selected. Now, if I, uh, it's kind of hard to explain right now. One thing I did not mention, which I'm going to do right now, I'm going to Control Z. I'm going to double click on this or this here. I'm going to come back to the color range. I'm going to select, hold Shift, and select more greens in this background. If you noticed, when I hit, hit Alt here, you can see some more shades. And the point of this is to, I'm also going to hit Selection here to show the inverted image, is to get rid of all of the, 
All right, now here, right here, okay, this is a great, great example here. You can see how it would be transparent on Jonathan, or uh, these two guys. So I'm going to scroll this down just a little bit. There we go. That should be a pretty sharp image. I'm going to hit OK now again. I'm going to hit uh, V, make sure I have my moose tool selected just because I'm, uh, I'm OCD. Now I'm going to hit Alt in here. Now you can see we have a much cleaner black and white background. All right, so now I'm going to hit Hold Alt hit that again alright now I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna click this black and white picture right here now as you can see it, it actually I'm not going to yet I'm sorry I'm gonna double click on here again double click on the black and white now I'm gonna hit mask edge when you're working with hair this is always something that you should do well not always but definitely something you should shoot to do I'm just gonna zoom into the edge of the hair this will give you more detail this color range. This is what uh, Photoshop has really done an amazing job on. I'm just going to click and drag. As you can see, it, it does bring a little bit more green, but you also get uh, the details of the hair. You get the little slight particles and stuff. And I held Alt to zoom in using Control to zoom sideways. Control scroll wheel will zoom sideways and sideways. Just clicking and dragging. For the sake of the rest of this tutorial, I don't want to waste your time, so I'll just finish this handsome young man's head up real quick and done nope wait 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 one second hold on okay done okay now one thing I would not I would recommend is not doing pets because they have a lot of hair and they are very annoying alright so now that we've done that you can see the green is gone we have a pretty clean okay this is bugging me we have a pretty clean cut image here when you have too much hair you do get a slight green fade thing alright now that we're done with that we're going to mess with these things over here over here I'm gonna have on white you can have it on overlay to where you see the orange or on black where we're on black you get more contrast sometimes this way I prefer on white looks cleaner more professional black and white also works fairly well on layers I'm not too keen on that one I don't like any of these others I, I tend to stick on white white and black and white are my two go-to tools and by the way this was selected to zoom in and paint um, now on the radius this will basically just select how far the edge is going to fade either way and I'm gonna select smart radius here and I'm just gonna give it a very slight fade All right now smooth I'm gonna turn that up a little bit I don't know the actual technicalities behind this I'm just messing with these to get the best possible look I encourage you guys to do the exact same uh, the more you learn, I, and don't mess with shift edge. That that gets messy really quickly. All right, and just make sure output layers to layer mask. Okay, and it's going to calculate and calibrate and and load and and there we go. We got green again. I'm going to hit these double arrows here. Close that. Now, as I was doing before, I'm going to hit. Con I'm going to hold control and click on the black and white figures over here. Now, as you can see, we got those marching ant thingies all over us. If I just clicked and dragged, you could see. Uh, if I just click and drag on here, you can see it automatically moves us away. But what I'm going to do over here is now that this is selected, I'm actually going to hit uh, type Control Shift I. That will invert your selection. You can also go to Select and Inverse. I prefer the uh, keyboard shortcuts. Now with, with this clicked, I'm going to give you guys another keyboard shortcut. Listen closely. Control Shift J. That will duplicate the layer, the uh, bit that was selected, and move it to another layer. So now we only have the green, we only have the dudes. I'm going to drag this layer behind random dudes. And I'm going to call this one, by double clicking on layer 2, I'm going to call it the green screen. Alright, and I'm just going to delete my layer that I did that for no reason, just to show you guys the control shift and does create a new layer. Alright, now to uh, get the background, I'm just going to deselect green screen and take the brush. And I didn't know, I don't know why I deleted that layer. I needed it. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to drag brush right click bring the size up a little bit and now we are on a black background and I'm gonna be OCD now one thing that I was pointing out earlier you can see uh, let me take the eraser here real quick you can see that little bit of transparency right underneath my shoulder there you see it that would be because would because would be because I set the fuzziness on the original um, uh, what was it again? The color range. I was going to say color range. I wanted to make sure though. I set it to the fuzziness to too high. 
So now I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna go with a cooler color because this is more professional. I'm gonna bring a larger brush size too. And I completely messed that up. Whoops, sorry. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna hit V. And that is the final image. Um, I would suggest uh, messing with the colors on the actual image here. You'll go image, adjustments, mess with the curves, levels, exposures, to make it look like you guys are on that actual background. Another thing I like to do is I like to add a, um, a texture, so I'm going to double click past the text, not on the text, but on the layer itself. I'm going to go, let's see, uh, pattern overlay. And then you just set the opacity down, and then you have a pattern behind us. There you go. And as you can see, his hair looks a whole lot cleaner than my hair, but just as by reason of us standing too close to the us these guys standing too close to the green screen you can see right along the edge of his hair there is a bit, little bit of bleed the further you stand away from the green screen the less bleed you're gonna get but you're also gonna get some shadows that you're gonna have to deal with uh, but for now that is everything I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope you learned something and if you please if you have any likes or if you leave us a like comment subscribe please if you have any any other tutorials you have a uh, request please don't hesitate um, I do a lot of Photoshop blender um, after effects anything that has to do with graphics you know or anything that has to do with anything else either I mean you guys ask we will do that tutorial eventually and uh, keep your eyes peeled out we got some awesome changes coming to you guys in 2014 alright take care I'll see you guys next time